Ever heard the tales? Some say it's half monster, half black-faced drag queen. Others say it's more of a 70-30 split. Whatever the percentage, he's one weird bastard. Hi there. I'm old Jinx. Pleased to meet you. What you doing in my waters? I... was just a... Are you fishing in old Jinx waters? No, I, I would, I'd never... Then how come this hook's in my head, fool? It's... Uh... It's attached to your super rod, mother liquor. I, I'm sorry. I... I'm gonna hurt you. Please, I, I, I leave. I, I'll never come back to old Jinx's waters. I, I swear... <laughs> Ever drank Moo Moo milk from a shoe? Ugh. Get so On your list of strange Kanto Pokemon, you might have Diglett. He's a mole with a body unseen by man. Ooh. Finger twiddle. I can understand having Geodude, maybe. Just your old malnourished bicep pal, scientifically named Earth Dude. That's not too out there. A gang of telepathic eggs. Alright, fair enough, because first of all, why are they not their own individual Pokemon? Second of all, if I was to converse with one, which one do I look in the eye? Introverts must go mad confronting one, trying to avoid eye contact and glaring right at another one until you eventually find comfort staring at the cracked one. But then your anxiety really kicks into gear, now you're just blatantly staring at its deformity. St stop staring. Thirdly, why is this gang called Execute to begin with? The only thing Execute is killing is the flavour of my hash browns when the yolk leaks out onto them. How are you gonna name this pack a Tesco medium free range to the same standard as the electric chair? Some guy's been in an office twiddling his fingers waiting his whole life to finally summon his Execute pun. Oh, he could finally cash it in now. Fourth of all, what came first? The egg? Or the Execute? Figure that one out. Elm? Or Rowan? You're not up to much these days, Gen 4 isn't getting any action. The egg, or executes, which then evolves into a tree, which then breeds its own eggs. Well, seeds, since that's what they actually are. Which then hatch into six other eggs, and the cycle goes on. There's a good handful of artificial or man-made Pokemon, whether it's through intense gene splicing, clay sculpting, or Notepad Plus. Porygon's one of the more stranger ones out there because it's just a strange concept that you can program a Pokemon to begin with. Surely there's unlimited potential to create anything you want if you had the right programming skills, especially since this was using the most up-to-date technology 20 years ago. In this day and age, this kind of thing would be widespread and monetized to fuck. Code your own monster and 3D print it like a Build-A-Bear workshop. You'd have Isis kidnapping Zuckerberg in a black van blaring Master of Puppets and making him program an army of fucking Wolverines. Mainly because the only two computer-savvy people they could think of were him and Bill Gates. But they think Halo 3 is a banger, so they let Bill slide. For 20 years ago, it is still way ahead of its time. Alright, might be a bit of an exaggeration for a world with the technology to revive an extinct creature because its tooth was found in a cave. But even then, it can move freely in cyberspace, could potentially explore actual space, and it's even got anti-piracy built in. Porygon was coded 20 years ago. Most softwares can barely even stop seven days of a trial lasting five years. You try to copy the Porygon's code into a memory stick, and he just teleports out like the ED-209 from Robocop. Verification code. You have 20 seconds to comply. And just melts your face off with a try attack after five failed attempts. I've spoke about this long ago, 
But Omastar was dicked pretty hard. Its destiny was to become extinct since its shell developed to become too large, so it couldn't catch prey. Omastar not being able to get its prey due to evolution is like humans getting so out of shape they can't run down to little. That's what happened to Omastar, except it had no choice. It didn't choose or even had the chance to prevent it from getting too heavy. It just... Really? Lost the genetic lottery here? You're a fucking paperweight in a time where paper doesn't even exist. That's what's strange about it. Evolution, the process of developing around your surroundings in order to survive. Doing the complete opposite. Going back to ancient times and seeing the heftier, potentially level 39 Omanites calling in sick every morning, knowing there are level 3 Pidgeys worth of experience from becoming a houseplant. What cruel god designed you? I bet it was Arceus, a fucking dick. For this segment, I was deciding between Mr. Mime and this. But I chose Lickitung since mimes exist. There was something the designers could base it from, you know? Whereas Lickitung is based on the idea of Let's make a chubby pink reptile with a tongue the length of the fucking Undertaker. Lick a tongue will unfailingly lick anything new. Unfailingly. Once it sees you, that's fucking it. You're getting licked. Failure is not an option. If you're new, it'll be after you like the T-1000. And once it gets you, it'll remember exactly, exactly what your texture and taste is. You know, just in case it wants to hunt you down again for seconds. Its saliva also causes numbness. So on the plus side, when it does decide to violate you, you probably won't even feel it happening. You could let every fan-made Sonic character loose into the Kanto region, and still couldn't lay down an argument solid enough to convince me that a black-faced drag queen isn't the strangest Pokemon in Kanto, and probably all of the seven regions. And one of the more sinister things in life, probably a step below a Mr. Whippy operating at nighttime, would be hearing a human voice that you know damn well for sure isn't human. And that's exactly how Jinx communicates. Well, speech I'm sure takes the silver medal to its hips, which do plenty of the talking for it, causing you to dance in unison with it. Essentially, as long as it's done in the form of dance, Jinx can make you do whatever it wants. But the strangest thing of all, it's just... How? How did they let Blackface Jinx loose to the public? At some point during the design process, Probably around the point where it started to look like a distant relative of Mr. Popo, there had to be an intervenance, right? That's enough out of you! Should have stopped you after you tried to put a turban on Electrode. I understand the Japanese mythical inspiration behind it, but surely someone would have thought it'd be as much a nightmare for PR as it is for sleep paralysis. But thankfully, this happened 20 years ago, so they're kinda safe. Before the world socially got covered in bubble wrap. 